In this Kotlin on Android activity, we're going to show you how you can pass data from an activity down to a fragment. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, we learned how we could pass data from a fragment to an activity by using an interface. In this tutorial, we're gonna do the opposite and show you how you can pass data from the activity down to a fragment. And I do have documentation for this, so if you want to refer to the documentation, um, it's free, you just have to sign up to the free YouTube membership link in the description okay so currently this is number two of this episode we've got one more episode remaining which will be using the view model to do what the two previous tutorials were doing and for members on the professional plan they do get a help of video which shows you how to get the code from github and install it and get it working on the project prior to commencing this particular tutorial so you can and i will give details to everyone on how you can get the code from git just in case you just want to start this particular tutorial and you don't want to do the previous one though i would recommend you do the previous tutorial and one other side note here is um, we're going to be creating a new fragment and inside that fragment we're going to be creating a video view just to display our recorded video and if you click on this link here you will get taken to this video here which shows you how you can uh, do uh, playback using the video app so if you do want a refresher or a more in-depth um, tutorial on how to use the video view you can check out this tutorial okay and so that's it these uh, episodes are released on a weekly basis so from the dates I'm currently talking at these episodes are not going to be released for a few weeks in the future unless you want to pay a one-off fee for 10 US dollars which will get you all these episodes straight away as well as the git details and again there will be a link in the, in the description okay so we'll, we'll make a start on this one so the first step we want to do is we're going to create a new fragment which will display our video view uh, along with its associated fr frame layout so we'll jump into our android studio and I'm just going to go into the package name here, select new, and we'll get Android Studio to do a bit of lifting for us. So we'll create a blank fragment. And I'm just going to call this video view fragment. Uh, we will include the factory math methods we're going to use in a little bit more than what we did in the previous tutorial but we don't need an interface we only need the interface to send the data from the fragment to the activity we're doing the opposite here and make sure you have the kotlin source language and select finish okay that's now done i want to go into my resource and select that layout so here we've got the fragment video view so select that and we can remove our text view in this case don't need that and just add our video view and I'll make match parent for both of these and set an ID and I call the ID video view something easy to remember okay that's completed for our fragment layout let's go into our video view fragment okay we've got a bunch of renaming going on in here um, I might as well start at the top of our companion object here so I'll keep these comments here for the moment so the parameter we're going to be passing down close that the parameter we're going to be sending down is going to be the URI from our main activity so let me specify that here and 
and it's only one parameter. Okay, and so we'll keep the um, creation of the video view fragment. Um, for passing the data down, we are going to be using a bundle for that. And so I want to keep my argument name here more specific. So I'm going to change this argument name to video URI. It's going to be, it looks like it wants uppercase. So I'll do vid URI. And we can change the name to that just to video URI. We can delete this bottom parameter here. Okay, so putting into the string here, we'll just use our new names. And pass in the new name of our parameter, which will be URI. And now URI is based on our passable. So instead of using string here, we'll change it to passable. And that should successfully work. So we're putting the URI as a passable into our arguments, which will be fed into here. Now I'll just delete, just tidy this code up now. Delete these comments here. Delete these comments here. Don't need this anymore. Okay, so this part's here is done, but we need to now this um, re-implement this inside the on create. When when we create our frame, and it's going to check to see if we've passed any values to the fragment argument. So we'll do some more renaming here. So this parameter is going to be of the type URI. And I can just call the parameter here video URI. I don't need a second parameter, I'm not using it. I'll delete that second parameter first. And inside here it's going to be our video. Editors playing up. Video URI, set that, and we just need to get the argument name there, which should be vid URI. And again, notice to get string here, so we need to change that to get passable. Okay, and that should be fine for our conversion of just the renaming and the setting the appropriate type here because the URI we're going to be passing into this fragment is uh, of a type passable we can feed it into the fragment arguments as a put passable and then when we create our actual fragment we can retrieve it using the get passable um, argument call here. Okay, now I do want to just add a tag just for logging output. Let's call it tag equals and we'll call this. Oh, I don't like it when it auto completes the wrong hint. Video intent fragment and we will reference the qualified name for that from Java. Okay, right, now we can actually implement the um, functionality of starting the video view, stopping it, and we'll do that with inside the fragment life cycle. So we'll just do on start first. And it will be a matter of we need to set the video URI first for that. So we call video view. 
set video URI. We can now pass it the video URI, which would have been sent down to us from the fragment. And once we've set it, we can then start it. Okay, now we'll do similar in the life cycle for on pause. It's called video view pause. And lastly, we'll do the same for the on stop. Call the video view. Stop playback. Okay, and I believe these should be the only changes we need to make to this fragment to uh, do our video playback. Now let's go inside our main activity and call this fragment. Now it will be inside our interface um, function. And what I want to do is check to check that URI is not null. It possibly could be, so we'll check that it's not null. This is a good safe way of checking it. So if it's not null, we'll create our fragment for our uh, video view fragment. So let's call this video view fragment equals video view fragment new instance and in this case we're going to pass it the URI okay so we've created the fragment we do need to replace the current fragment with this fragment so we'll just call the video view fragment as demonstrated here okay this is before we run this this is one slight change I want to make in our video underscore video fragment underscore video view for the video height, I want to change this to wrap content. Um, this is sort of going to just fill out our display and keep maintain aspect ratio. Okay, so we will run this now. The application's now started. I'll select the record button first. Record quickly the display here. Stop that. Select that. Okay, now I'm going to select play. And as you can see, we're successfully playing that through our video view fragment. And basically, the URI has been passed from the uh, video intent fragment up to the main activity and then fed back down to the video view fragment. And that concludes this Kotlin on Android episode where we demonstrated how you can pass data from an activity down to the fragment by using the fragment argument. And in this demonstration, it was a URI that we're putting into a passable, then feeding into the fragment arguments. And this also demonstrates how you can share data between fragments as well. Um, you do need to implement an interface to send the data up to the fragment and then a fragment arguments to support the sending of data back down to the fragment as part of a parameter. So there is a considerable amount of work to share data between fragments because it's all got to happen between the calling activities. Activity. Right, there's one more episode left in this tutorial series, and that's the view model. So that's doing what we've currently been doing, but in a much more simpler and convenient way while maintaining the activity life cycle. So that's not out yet. If you do want to get hold of that one as well, you can get it straight away for a one off fee of 10 US dollars. Details will be in the description. Anyway, so that concludes this tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions for me, you do have to pay for them through Code Mentor. That's where I can free up a little bit of my time just to help people out with their questions in the form of paid sessions at Code Mentor. And I also recommend you to just follow me on Twitter or follow me on Facebook. There's a handle just above there. So that's where you can just get notified of the latest 
changes I'm making to the channel, videos getting released, or any other news uh, related to the channel. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this. Bye for now.